Mission 7. Selumina Peak. Wait, I probably pronounced that horribly. horribly. Shimmering Death. Selumina Peak. Our forces Republic of Grace Maria. Mary. military forces in Ania will gradually start to diminish each time Big they battle. suffer a loss in various areas. According mm -hmm, to mm -hmm, intelligence mm -hmm. from our Department of National Safety, there's a section Department of National Safety near Salumna Peaks in Central Salumna. That section of land is a route for our troops to take in terms of topography and weather as well. We're going to use really? this route. It's a Traveling through the mountains is a good choice. Snow, which is extremely difficult for our ground unit to advance through. And why is it ideal? To air Make sure Again, to you said it was ideal. And if you spot any threats from the sky, eliminate them. If an emergency happens to occur, deal with it in any way you see fit. Once we get past those mountains, we'll be in the. You expecting an emergency? Warlock, anti-air, avalanche, snake pit. And oh, snake pit. That's our AWAX. Uh, ECM or ESM all anti-air actually gallery said about assault records ah we have stricken four so we still killed him pilot number three name the big toad dudak age 40 Part male blood type zero rank I'm not sure what the rank is lieutenant ensign first lieutenant second lieutenant maybe uh, you know a hardened pilot of the Estevokian civil war Victor Dukak's four plane coordination attacks was said to have been so intense that during training even the stricken team leader lieutenant colonel Wojciech had to push his skills to the limit just to keep up Dudek's aircraft, along with three other squadron members, were shot down in the Battle of Silvat while engaging the crew team in the Marine for reinforcements. Wait, along with three others? I only shot down two. Hmm. Wow, we got Republic of Mary, though. Info. Ah. Jose Cesar Torres, age 29. Jose Cesar Torres, leader of the Grizzly Tank Battalion, deployed to defend the Western cities at the outbreak of the war. He successfully repelled the first Esavokin offense by employing a mobile defense. This defense afforded enough time to establish a defensive line around Silvat. During the battle at Silvat, Grizzly was cut off from surrounded and surrounded by enemy, but were able to return safely thanks to being rescued by Gruda team. We also learned about Alan Buckman, age 34. The only records left show that Alan Buckman was a platoon leader before the war. He took over the Barracuda Armored Battalion after the leader was killed in action at Silvat. He was able to pull the troops together and defeat entire enemy forces with the help of the Gruda team. Later, the battalion was reorganized into, into, the, into the Dragon Busters, of which he became a member. Oh. So Barracuda is now part of Dragon Busters, huh? Where are my medals at? Right. Hanger. Okay. They're good ground attackers. Multi roll Hornet. I love the Hornet. F2 is a multi roll. F14 is a fighter. Of course. XLAA has 40 of those, as well as. Ooh, SAAMs. L-A-S-M, long returning, blah, 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 F-18, ooh, the semi-active air-to-air -air missile, the SOD, the X-A-G-M, and the ECMP. F-14. Ah. 
I just remembered. I just see it on the nose there, like the zero number twenty-eight. Well, the other reason I, I really loved Gruda, because my birthday is the twenty-eighth of April. Maybe that's it. Do love an F eighteen. Speed, mobility, defense. I have less mobility than that. I think the Super Hornet is the better plane over the Tomcat that has speed. This has versatility. of a digital fly-by-wire variable geometry wings and powerful twin, twin engines. Although costly to maintain, this carrier-based aircraft's wide array of advanced capabilities place it at the pinnacle of modern aircraft design. Unparalleled top speed and acceleration coupled with high maneuverability and stability makes the F-14D an impressive aircraft. Long-range missile armaments also allow for preemptive striking capability on multiple enemy aircraft. Mm, I have 18 of the SAAMs. Or 40 XLAAs. Hmm. You know what? Let's go to 14 and a half. SAAs and the Grand Bomb. Let me need the Grand Bomb, but. I literally just want to buy everything. Maybe not right now, though. F-14. With... Uh, now we're going to stick with the multi-lock. Talisman, which plane should I pick? How about my weaponry? You know what? What if you use the long-range one? Hmm. Interesting thought. Are we ready to fly with these planes? There's something at super long range you can tell him to attack. Garuda team, time to take off. Let's go, Garuda. Where am I yawning? Where am I? I don't know why I'm yawning. I'm not tired. Eh, point one. Oh no, aircraft refueling. Nailed it. Of course, depending on type of plane, depends on the type of refueling. Oh, look at all those F-16s and Mirages and F-18s in the background. And then we're like the only two F-14s. Which really are probably the... Well, it's actually the Mirage is kind of old too. Back time. Zoom. Beautiful. I love airplanes. The are on their way. They're, not stupid, you know. They're not? Since when? That one on the right looks more of a threat. Hey, Warlock! And Quacks! Bring his bear to do it, so we get flat tire. Missiles away! Oh, I'm not sure that's gonna hit. Well, two of them did. Whoop. 
Oh, I forgot how agile this is. Especially after flying the friggin' A-10. Well, they won't survive long. Boom, boom. Ooh. Of course, they're tougher. Forgot about that. How did that miss? Kill him. Kill him now. Good kill. Don't worry, Warlock. We got you back. What the shot? I feel like some of them missed. Ooh, stalling. Have to do, but they can't hit me. Enemy down. Bye bye. Whoa. Roger that. Get him off my tail. I missed. Well, I won't. Ooh, turn too far. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Wilhelm's scream. Hey Waffle, welcome back. That's the enemy pilot we just killed. Word up. <laughs> You'd have at least one scream, don't you? One scream per day. Box three, box three. Uh, I don't, don't think those lock ons work properly. What the hell? Have to do another gun. Away from Warlock. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you. Got him. Okay, firing him in this angle, not the best. Care of him. There's still something near Warlock. Somewhere. There. F 15s, huh? Fifteen need strike eagles. Oh no, I fired that too fast. Oh no, got him. I was not sure there. Boom, 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 boom. 
Where are the multi missiles? Let's go. Oh, I think they just both hit the same target. <laughs> Welcome, Warlock. Now, uh, who's next? That looks like Snake Eye having some issue over there. Snake Pit, yeah. Roger. Box three. Fire whatever we've got. I'm back, 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 back up. Like my ability to speak is suddenly still dying. Enemy plane in gun range. Yes, it is. Bye bye. We have radar lock on. Ooh, no one bites the dust. Love to see it. Nailed it. Ooh, Raphael's. I like the Raphael. Alright. Gonna wait till they pass me. And then. Fire. The multi lock. Oh, we've only got one left. Boom, 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 boom. For triple kill. Wow, that Raphael is fast. Okay. I'll take care of the other one. I'm on the it's at least closer. Wait, where did he go? Raphael's an airplane I really like. Oh, perfect timing. Operation C, good to go. Someone down near the ground targets. All right, Quarks, we're coming. We got you guys. Where are you? I don't see him over your head. Ah, I see. Roger. Take him out. Take them all out. GR4, eh? Hmm. All right, jammers. Enemy Let's take them out. Set up to reduce our missile and radar capabilities. Watch out. Well, we'll take them out. Nice and slowly. Ooh. Although I love how I looked over the, my second screen just as I got in the weapon range. Because <laughs> that's intelligent. Hey, snake pits here, too. Oh, Starling. Small jammers or tornadoes, I think. Yes, it's called Dodge Star. Absolutely unavoidable. Yeah, the GR4s have got the stuff, I guess. ECMs. 
Take that. Beautiful plane out. Nice. Two small planes and one large plane to go. There it is. Is he telling Shamrock to bring the SWMs? Good choice. Yeah, that's fine. Not enough damage, though. Yes, there is Avalanche. Nope, it's Mang. Wanna try to kill that one, Shamrock? More than welcome. Alright. Thanks for heads up. Snake pit. Just gonna let Shamrock do the work for me. Just a little bit quicker than that. Or sooner, rather. Good. Finish it off. Boom! Alright. Bombers. Three out of four? We're good. Oh no. Target rich environment, have fun. I have no long range missiles though. Shamrock, have fun. Oh, Avalanche is just ripping them to shreds. Love to see it. Love to see it. Whatever you're nice. Hope it went well. What'd you miss? Uh, many, many people being blown up. Cruise missiles. Of course, the cruise missiles. Missile drones. Cruise missile drones, huh? Damn the miss. Base of maneuvers. There's always a super weapon somewhere in this, these games. Oh good, tell me where they are. Where the drones are... Take out the drones, huh? Right. I have the damn drone. Our evacuating forces have taken damage. Those incoming missiles can be stopped if you shoot down their observation planes. Whoa, going. Oh yeah, I was already damaged. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie deep. Oopsie poopsie. Uh, checkpoint.
missile's estimated range of impact shows up on radar. The observation plane should be located right in the center of that range. Garuda team, shoot down those observation planes. User said them done, right? We have to hold out until all our forces have been safely evacuated. One closer than I think. I don't have long range weapons right now, so this is not great. Shit. I may need to swap out my weapons. I'm gonna have to fly. I'm gonna, yeah. Let's go rearm. The long range missiles shows up on radar. The observation plane should be located right in the center of that range. Specifically, the S double AMs, so I can shoot them from really long range. Until all our forces have been safely evacuated. Yeah, 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 no pressure, no pressure. Why is it always got to be me? Never ever applied to competent. Way to the danger zone. Does get more dangerous in a zone than this? Oh. oh. Garuda one, you're approaching the return line. Maintain your current heading to, get to the carrier. All right, carrier landing. Which is not easy. Oh, good. Oh, I got the rest of hooks as well. Nice. Hehe. <laughs> they, they make that look hard. I need. Semi active air to air. Jumping off the deck, running into overdrive. Wait, I think I got a lane wrong. Never mind. Whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, good Right, these should help. Okay, there's one down. Whoa! Basins. Garuda one, you're approaching nope. the return line. Maintain your current heading to return to base and resupply. Lock on. Alright, did you get some away from that return line first start? I don't accidentally go over it. So many explosions in there. Fox two. Target down. Oh, I got that drum. Standard missiles, nice. Need to line it up. Shut up, ghost eye. Ten observation craft remaining. These guys are unmanned. Yeah, that's why they're hard to hit. Because they can maneuver unlike a human.
Target every drone. Good, 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 good. Why oh, going into the explosion? Ooh, oh, no. Maneuver. That brief moment when they like stop before a missile launch. The best thing to him. Shamrock, take care of that one. Three observation craft remaining. If only we could have shot up down at Grace Mary. We didn't see them back there. Also, I think they're a lot closer range back in Chris Mario. I noticed. Oh no. Glad I can tell him what to do. Face the maneuvers. Back here. Radar lock. Just one observation. Yeah, they're dodging too fast. Oh, I got it. Operation planes are down. Well done, Garrett. Hooray for the ECM from Snake Pit. Play DCS. Oh, no, I've never played DCS. We've got to do something about those missiles, or there won't be a Grace Maria to get back to. Thanks to your great cover, our troops were able to get through the peaks. Wow, I still got an S rank. Only minimal damage suffered. But our unit is within range of enemy that is surprising. attacks for this mission. We're doing yeah. all we can to gather intelligence on the invasion and are mulling strategy options. Wait for the Take order. Take out the missiles. And we'll have a fighting chance, right? Wow, that was a straight up S rank for the whole thing. Even with a death. Two deaths, even. I'm glad the deaths don't kind of count. Because it just resets. On the road again. Zoom. I feel so lucky to have met up with Ludmilla. We've run sure. so many checkpoints. I don't know what we would have done without her passport. Mm. I don't think I ever would have made it alone. Walk across the countryside. But as we travel through these wide open spaces, enemy troops are few and far between. Actually, we've been on this road for quite some time. It'd be a peaceful drive away from the fighting. Slovakian military vehicle. That's a big truck. It looks like our luck has just run out. These men are partisans. Americans partisans. Like me. Ludmilla stares at me. I can see the fear in her eyes. Local I militia. I explain to them that Ludmilla is no threat. She is a student from Nordnovik. Leave the girl alone. But... Don't be a racist I've never now. Never been much of a liar. She definitely speaks the language, but with a thick Estovakian accent. Don't waste your ammo. Just then, something roars in the sky above. Hey, look! What's going on? I know it's our Estovaki only chance of escape. Get in! Hurry! <laughs> yeah, your gun jammed. 
Noob. On the battlefield, you have to put luck aside and take what you get. Good or bad. Well, they're dead. My fellow countrymen were killed instead of me. And that gives me a really sense of relief. But now I've got to accept the fact that I am the next target. Yeah. It's time for me to dance with the angels. But you're in a car. Auto-saving.